Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK. And if you've been here before, then you will be excited to know that this is gonna be a regular feature on a Thursday. We're gonna be talking all things self-care. I decided to add in a second video and I did some big deep soul searching and lots and lots of planning and research and I eventually settled on a topic that felt right for me to talk about and that was self-care. It's something that I in theory know how to do really really well but in practice I suck <laughs> and I thought to myself how can I force myself to make sure I'm getting adequate self-care but also feel like I'm doing good for other people because that makes me happy and then I was like this should be the topic for my Thursday videos I should encourage you guys to take care of yourselves in a better in a better way and that will force me to take care of myself too so before I get into the tips I just want to say one thing in the hope that it will reframe how you think about self-care Self-care is not a luxury, it is in fact a priority and a necessity. And my aim here is to encourage all of you to take care of yourselves a little better. And in the hope that by doing that I will encourage myself to take care of myself a little better. So there are seven categories of self-care and number one is mental self-care. Now the first one I've put on my list is read for 30 minutes. Now the timing is up to you, you might not need 30 minutes, you might need 60, you might need 10, you might get lost and read for the whole day and that's okay. I am really into non-fiction so but I can get stuck reading self-sufficiency books and gardening books and horse riding books Whoa, all day and then I get my notepad out and I'm like da 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 like writing things down and putting post-its as bookmarks and then I by the time I'm done and I've come out that little rabbit hole I'm like oh yeah and I feel amazing so read a book even if you just read the newspaper or a magazine or some junk mail I want you to put down your phone go and read a book Number two on the mental self-care list is watch an inspiring TED talk. Now it doesn't have to be a TED talk. Personally, one of my favourite things to watch, I like watching YouTube. Um, I really like watching OBGYN reacts on Mama Dr. Jones. That's hilarious. And I really enjoy Jada Pinkett Smith's Red Table talk. Like, some real talk, real talk happens there. And it's really, really good. So go and watch something that's real. Something that's real and inspiring. Said or will said or the Smith said uh -huh. is not true. We specifically never said anything. Right. So coming to the table was like we just. The second category of self care is social. Now, this one's a tad complicated during pandemic, but doesn't mean I'm not saying to you, hey, you and seven friends go out to harvest it together because that would be illegal. What? So what I'm saying is. So my suggestion to you is to write an encouraging note to your friend. And I did that today. My friend B is going to get an encouraging note. I'm probably going to take a picture of it. I'm probably going to take a picture of it and send it to her on Facebook Messenger. So I don't even have to post it. Free! I'm, I'm here with you. Yeah, I thank you for that because you've been on a hell of a journey with me. So that's what we're going to start with. Is start this with... is a very personal journey. Yep. The third category of self-care is my favourite and when I tell you the category name you're going to know why. Adventure! <laughs> so my adventure category is to make a vision board. Now I don't have any footage of this one because I need to take my time but I am really really excited. I have some really big plans and visions for the next 10 years of my life. I'm coming up to 30 and I am really excited about being 30, but I'm also a little bit like, okay, so what have I done with my life? And I've done loads of life. But I also think to myself, I know how I want my life to be when I turn 40. 
And then the other day I realized like I had 5,000 views this month and that's amazing. And this is what I want to do. So I have this vision board and it's got my channel, bar channel art, it's gonna be in the middle. And then all the things I want to achieve with this channel and then for my family around the outside. Um, I'm going to print pictures off the internet and I'm gonna see if people have country and home magazines and things like that so I can cut them out and then fill it in and I don't know how big it's gonna be but I'm gonna have it on my wall I'm the kind of person who if it's out of sight it's out of mind so I need it in a visual place and I am gonna have it probably on there I'm gonna replace I don't think you can see one sec you can just about see it and you've probably seen it in other videos as well haven't you this wall hanging up there I got that from the New Forest Fairy Festival a couple of years ago and I'm kind of bored kind of bored of it so I'm gonna replace my vision board that's gonna be my vision board I'm gonna have it there so the fourth category is environment now I don't mean go and save some whales I mean your personal environment so what I want you to do is start your day outside and if you can't get outside for some reason I want you to sit as close to your window as you can with it wide open and I want you to sit with your morning drink, tea, coffee, whatever you fancy and I want you to just look out the window. If you can go outside I want you to sit in your garden or sit in your local green space, go straight there as soon as you wake up, maybe put clothes on first. Um, but I want you to just go and experience and be in awe of everything that's around you because I find when I sit and do that, when I look at nature, when I look at everything that's around me, most of my problems seem reasonably insignificant and I feel recharged. My version of starting out, starting my day outside would be sitting on my patio, or maybe I would get up really, really early and take my drink in a, um, in a, in a reusable cup and I would go and see my horses really early in the morning. So the fifth category is spiritual. Now if you're a religious person this might be some bible time or some prayer and that's great. It's not for me but that's great if that's for you. For me it's going to be a, it's going to look like a 10 minute morning meditation. Um, I've linked in the description some of my favourite meditations that I like to do first thing in the morning. Um, I really like um, a channel on here called James Stevenson um, Meditations and, and yeah, they're really, really good. Um, I will be adding in some of my own that I've created in the future so you can do them, do my ones with me. My second spiritual one is choose an affirmation for the day. I've included a huge list um, on a PDF that you can download from my website. Again, the link's in the description to my website, straight, you can go straight to the page and download it. And there's 31 affirmations there for you. They are gender neutral, they're not parent based. Um, you are really gonna hope, I hope you really, really like them. You don't have to follow the list either. I know some people will be like, it's the first day, I shall do number one. But if you think that number 10 is best for you on the 12th, then that's fine. Okay, I'm giving you permission to break the rules. And when you choose your affirmation, I want you to say it out loud a couple of times. I want you to shut your eyes and I want you to take some breaths and say it. I don't mean, you know, I'm not going all hippie yogi on you. I'm saying just take five breaths, big, deep, slow breaths. And in between each breath, I want you to say the affirmation. And then when you're feeling stressed throughout the day or something bad happens, I want you to say the affirmation out loud again. Or imagine me saying it to you and you saying it back. So the sixth category is not my favourite and that's physical self-care. Now, I'm the kind of person that really, really does well when I've done something physical, whether that's dance, whether that's ride my horse, whether that's go for a walk, whether that's play with my dog, anything like that. But some days I just can't muster it. I just, I just can't bring myself to do it. And I often think to myself, maybe I should do a couch to 5k, or maybe I should do this, or maybe I should do that, but I, I just, me. And always, riding my horse is always something, is always my go-to, but obviously sometimes it's raining, or sometimes I've hurt my back, or sometimes she just doesn't want to do it, and that's all fine. So there needs to be something in the physical category that works any day of the week. So I'm going to say, drink eight glasses of water. Now, sometimes I can't manage eight glasses of water. 
I'm not really one of those water drinking people. Even when you put like fruit and mint and stuff in it, sometimes I'm just like, and can't manage to drink it. So I drink eight glasses of, of sugar-free double concentrate squash, very weak, because at least I'm drinking, at least I'm hydrated. And that's the point. My final category is emotional. Now, this was the category that my friend pointed out to me, my dear friend, Shell. And I told her about my plans for doing self-care videos and she said to me one thing you need to remember and to remind people is that self-care isn't always relaxing bubble baths sometimes it's calling the dentist because you've been putting off that checkup for months it's like wow so my emotional self-care tip is to plan your week and include something on Monday that you have been putting off so for me it's sorting out a letter that I needed to send off. Really didn't want to do it, but I need to get it done. So that's what I'm going to do on Monday. Plan out your week. I'm going to sit with my planner. Write all of the things down, even the stuff I usually do. Just to kind of frame it in my head, this is what needs to be done. And then I'm going to include that thing I really, really don't want to do. Because as soon as I've done it, I know I'm going to feel better. Now it's something that I struggle with, with my neurodiversity, but I'm going to give it a really, really good go. And that's the main thing, is trying. Because all, I, all anyone ever asks of you, or at least should ask of you, is that you try your best. So this was 10 free self-care tips from a busy mum. I hoped they helped you, and I hope you enjoyed the content. Keep coming back on Thursdays because we're going to have loads of self-care topics to cover over the next few months. Take care and remember, self-care is not a luxury, it's a priority and a necessity. Bye!